transitioning into Alliance Tech. So today I'm working with Chris at one of his accounts. We can't say the account name because we just don't do that here at Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what we want to do for you today is we have a motor that we just installed yesterday. Uh, we had it sent out, we had it rebuilt, and uh, we put it back in yesterday with the gantry and stuff. You guys already seen that if you watch the 500 horsepower video. Uh, um, but so what we're gonna do, we're gonna laser align this motor today. We're gonna wire the motor up, laser align it, uh, it's the cold alignment. Uh, we're gonna take this coupling back out of it, perform uh, bump the motor for rotation to check the rotation and make sure it's correct. If not, we'll, we'll reconfigure the wire so it's correct. And then we will, um, uh, once we do that, we'll perform a hot alignment. So we'll run the compressor for about 30, 40 minutes run the compressor until it's nice and hot and warm and um, then we'll stop it lock it back out and perform the hot alignment so stay tuned and we'll see you inside hey guys so here's the compressor we're working on here it's not a very big compressor but uh, we're gonna be wiring these up today here well Chris is yeah Chris's job is to wire this motor up today and uh, my job is to get this thing aligned so right now the motor is loose so we will tighten that down. I'll kind of use a straight edge to get this thing out where it needs to be. I kind of position it so we get the alignment tool on there and it should work, work out pretty good for us. But um, yeah, this is a GEA compressor, GEA. Uh, we just stuck this new panel on it here. So it works pretty, this is uh, um, their Omni. And then they got the old, older panel. <laughs> On this one here, which is the Micro 3. So, yeah. So, that's what we're doing here today. So, um, stay tuned and let's let me get this uh, coupling on and we will, um, I'm at the alignment kit. We'll get the alignment kit on and get that done. So, I'm going to set you up here while you see us watch. these up here and uh, and we're gonna go ahead and stick the, the rubber um, uh, the rubber uh, electrical insulation putty it's this stuff here uh, right here so we're gonna go ahead and stick this all over that really tight and then when we're done with that we're gonna wrap it with the uh, electrical tape to protect the putty and make sure it all all nice and tight like little footballs so that's it for now on, on the wiring. As soon as we get it done, we'll let you see that too. Awesome. So we got the, the cane brick already on there, and we're now we're wrapping it. And you see we're, what we do is you stretch this tape as much as you can right before it's about to snap. So it really bonds itself to, to the end there. 
and we got one done here uh, now we're just getting this one done here a little use all the tape that you can on that so we pretty much use a full roll of, of putty on the rubber tape putty tape on the near and then you take that and you wrap it with electrical tape when you're done so it protects your your putty and provides uh, another layer of insulation electrical tape by no by no means is is uh, a really good insulator for doing your leads but uh it does provide that extra it is an insulator but it provides just the extra layer of of um protection when wiring up a motor And let me know what you got, how you guys wire motors in the comments down below. So we could, uh, uh, a lot of people do it differently. There's one, there's uh, a lot of different ways to skin a cat out there. So I'm pretty sure there's a lot of different ways people wire up the motors. Uh, when we do do the cambric, we do the cambric over the leads first, and then we flip the cambric so it's sticky. And we put it, the sticky part up at the last bit of it, so the rubber can really bond to the cambric, so it doesn't slip off or. There's a really good strong bond to the camber, so, um, but that's pretty much that at the end. When it's done, we've got one more to do, and these came pre-done from, from uh, the, the motor manufacturer here, so um, those look like you see a little bit of rubber, we use probably a little bit more than we should, but hey, we're protecting this. <laughs> All right, we'll see you when we're done. Okay, so just to go over the setup with you guys again one more time. Um, so the, this machine here, A, is going to be, oops, is going to be five and a quarter. So you're going to take this down to five and a quarter. Okay, five, oops, I'll pass it up. 5.25, okay, great. B is going to be 11 inches, okay? So um, A is the distance between here and here. B is the distance between the center point here to there. So that's, that's I wrote down 11 inches. So that's, that's 11 inches there. So we'll take that. We'll go to 11 inches. Oops. And the last one is 14 and a half. So we're 14 and a half right there. But it's 14 and a half from, the, from the, that bolt to the other bolt, to the rear bolt. So we'll just take this thing down here to 14 and a half. There it is. Okay, so now it's, look for the sensors. It's, you recalibrated everything to where it needs to be. So we're gonna go ahead and dump this this way. Chris, if you can go over there and just check to make sure they're level. Bring it up a little bit. Up a little bit. I have to grab the sensor. Up a little bit. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit enter on that. You know, it tells you to rotate it all the way around this way. So you go three o'clock. Okay. And you get this the little. Okay. Perfect. Now, go to your, now you go to your 12 o'clock position. Can you can kind of see this. Boom. The level. So, and right now we're, our angularity is one thousandth off. 
and two thousandths off on our plane. But uh, so our motor is two. Uh, I'm sorry, compressor is two thousandths lower than our motor. Motor is two thousandths higher than our compressor. But this thing's going to heat up when we turn it on. It's going to heat up and probably rise. It's liquid injection, so it's not going to rise as much as it would if it was thermal siphon oil cooling. But as of right now, I think this is good. So right now we're going to decouple this so we can check uh, rotation. So we just got, we just wired it up here. We're gonna go ahead and check rotation. If we need to correct it, we'll correct the phase and the starter over there. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and grease these motors right now. And uh, um, we're still gonna do the rotation test. Uh, there's heaters in this thing that actually, uh, we turn them on, it started kind of smoking a little bit, but you smell it, it just smells like the varnish that when they redid the motor. But um, we'll have to I, um, ch check into that before we start it. But, uh, yeah. How many pups? Okay, so we should have enough grease in there. For a start, when you get it running, we'll, 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 we'll grease it. You always pull the plugs out of the motors when you're greasing them because if you don't, uh, it has nowhere to push the air, so it'll kind of trap air in here and the grease will have nowhere to go. Um, so you pull the plugs out and you grease it. Uh, you save yourself from pushing grease into the motor. You can kind of see in here that that set up there. Um, so, as you can see, we did not push any grease in the motor. You can kind of see the grease coming out right there and stuff, but um, we did not push any grease in the motor. So, I think it's pretty good. So, the heaters turn 1.5 amps. That's exactly where they need to be at. So I don't think we're gonna have a problem here, but if you, as you can see, the motor's kind of smoking a little bit. Compressor, motor start. So we hit this here. Um, please make sure the motor is uncoupled from the compressor. Okay, that's done. Uh, pressing the button will uh, be left uh, around the motor for 30 seconds. We're just gonna Rotation is going in the correct direction. There we go. We'll couple it back up and wait for tomorrow and start it up.